Hey YouTube, it's Stephanie with The Treehouse Garden. Today I wanted to take a minute and share some of my vegetable garden planning. It is February 9th, 2020 today, and I'm really getting to the point where I just cannot wait to get started. I've already done a bunch of winter sowing. Things are starting to come up. We've had a couple of warm days and it's just like spring is right at our fingertips. So I've started planning my garden for flowers and for vegetables. And one of the challenges that I have where I live is um, definitely with space. Um, we live in kind of a wooded subdivision. So I don't have a lot of places in my yard that get uh, full sun. The one place that I do have, I have two uh, raised beds next to each other that are four by eight with a cattle panel in the middle. I can actually show you what they look like because it's right out the window. So that's, that's my planting area. And um, I'm gonna be putting a lot of my lettuces, kale, um, brassicas in the inside. And then on the cattle panels, it's pretty much gonna be taken up by tomatoes and then the middle panel is going to be beans. So um, that area is not what I'm gonna be talking about today. So because I just have two raised beds and I, I love gardening and I wanna plant more, I do plan on supplementing that with little black grow bags and a variety of containers that I've collected over the years. So. What this video is going to be today is really focusing on things you can grow in containers and varieties I've selected to try for containers this year. So starting with cucumbers, I think the challenge with growing cucumbers in containers, um, they require a ton of water and so you have to be really diligent if you want to try growing them in containers, but if you don't really have a choice like me, um, what I plan on doing is putting a drip system in so they're constantly getting a little water and um, I don't have to worry as much about babying them when they're in there. So there's two container varieties that I'm trying out this year. I've never grown either of these. The first is from Renee's Garden. It's a just called Bush Slicer Container Cucumber. So this particular cucumber is supposed to be more compact. You know, cucumbers sprawl like crazy. They're great for cattle panels if you have enough space, but um, this one doesn't sound like it sprawls as much, but this the fruit on there is still six to eight inches. So it's a pretty decent sized cucumber. Um, so I, I usually don't grow hybrids. This is a hybrid and I, it's not that I don't have anything against them. I just really like saving seeds and um, you know, saving money. Um, so I'll, I'll be interested to see how this does. It does say it's uh, resistant to powdery mildew, which usually takes over every year on my cucumbers. So hopefully that um, we have good success. The next one, the name on this one just cracks me up. The Space, Space Master 80. It sounds like an infomercial and or like some kind of future Rama thing. I don't know. <laughs> um, so this one, very similar, it's a bush variety, but however, these fruits are supposed to be a little bit longer than the, uh, the other one that I have. So these are supposed to be seven or eight inches long, which is a good size. Um, I, I did notice on Renee's Gardens website, they have trial photos from their garden, and it looks like they are using like a little mini trellis in the containers for those. So I'll probably use a tomato cage or something similar just because you know, at the end of the day, they're still cucumbers, so they're still going to sprawl a little bit. Um, moving on, staying in like the melon family, I'm very excited about finding not just a container watermelon, but one that is tiny and personal size. This one's called Mini Love, again from Renee's Garden. And same thing for this one, watermelons require a ton of water, surprise, surprise. So these are gonna have to go on a drip system if I'm gonna put them in a grow bag. Um, what I'm most excited about is having a mini sized watermelon that it's, you know, individual sized. Um, it's just me and my husband. So I am really only growing food for us. And when I grow giant watermelons, I don't want them to go to waste, which is what happened last year. So 
I'm excited about um, trying these ones out for sure. Another absolutely adorable mini that I had to buy when I saw it from Renee's Garden is this Little Prince Container Eggplant. Like, first of all, the name is just adorable, but these plants are supposed to not produce full-size eggplants, but little three to four inch oval baby eggplants. So, oh, I don't know what it is about me and like, like even seedlings just, you know, when they're small or, or mini like fruit, like tomatoes before they're mature and they're growing. I just think they're so stinking cute. Um, really excited to try these. I am also growing regular sized eggplants in containers because they do, oh, they do pretty well in like five gallon containers. So I have Rosa Bianca and Casper varieties I'm trying, but this is mostly a novelty, although I'm really hoping they're tasty as well. One thing I, this isn't a mini of any kind, nor is it a container of any kind. It's just a good thing to grow in small spaces. <clears throat> My radish. Radishes are one of those things you can just, anywhere you have a little extra space, you can stick a few seeds in. Um, so I'm constantly succession sowing my radishes um, anywhere that I have any extra space. Um, so I wanted to include that as um, an option as well. Here's one that I haven't grown. It's called the Minnesota Midget Cantaloupe. Um, I've actually never grown cantaloupe before. I, I have cantaloupe seeds. I just, last year I, I used, I had a melon patch area and I pretty much just covered it with watermelons, which I, I wanted to try a bunch of different varieties, but it, it was too much for two people. So these um, again are smaller melons. They don't get super big and they don't have a ton of seeds. Um, I read online that people like to, you know, scoop the middle out and put ice cream in there, which, you know, if it's a bowl size melon, that just sounds really fun. So um, haven't heard much else about these, but I am excited to just taste what a homegrown cantaloupe tastes like since I never have. Another one in the squash family, we have a container zucchini. I read a, a really nice review about this one online for somebody that actually has a balcony garden. So that was very encouraging for me. This is a hybrid called, I think it's Astia, A-S-T-I-A. -A. Um, I tried growing zucchini in a grow bag last year, a normal size, like Black Beauty, but I don't think I was as consistent as I needed to be with watering because again, just like with cucumbers, these, it's a squash, it, it needs a lot of water. They grow really fast. Um, and I think mine, I don't even think, I think I got one zucchini off of it, which if you've grown zucchini before, that's not normal. So I'm hoping since this one's bred specifically for containers, I'll have better luck. And also I think the drip system is really gonna make a difference this year. Another baby, baby spaghetti squash. Um, again, I just have a dream in my head of eating a little bowl of spaghetti squash with like the meat sauce on top of it um, and keeping it in the little bowl. Um, very excited for this. It's uh, apparently dozens of four to five inch little mini spaghetti squashes. And winter, this spaghetti squash is a winter squash. So this is one that you can save um, and cure, <clears throat> after you pick it, you cure the squash in the sun for like 10 days. And then from there you can store them um, like in your basement or somewhere cool and dark and they'll stay good for months and months. So I'm hoping um, that's what I can do with these. And I just can't wait to see how adorable they really are. Here's another one that I'm looking forward to trying, never had, it's the Picolino basil. And if you can see that picture, it looks super tiny. It, it, it's a Greek basil and Greek basil, um, it's kind of like a spicy basil. Um, so I'm looking forward to cooking, like I, I just imagine chicken would taste really good with a basil like this. Um, it says they're four to six inch tall plants. So they're great for really small pots or even fairy gardens, um, which, you know, I might just have to start a fairy garden this year for this basil. I'm very excited about it. So this will be a good one. Excited to taste it, excited to grow it. I'm looking forward to 
Um, creating a couple more videos uh, after this one. I didn't even touch my tomatoes. I'm growing 14 different varieties of tomatoes, so I figured I'd do a separate video for those. Also, my herb garden. I have probably 10 to 12 different herb varieties that I'm gonna be growing. Uh, I'm gonna have like a culinary herb section and then also a medicinal herb section. And I'm really going to do my best to try to dry some of those so I can uh, enjoy some garden stuff throughout the winter. Um, I, like right now, I, I have frozen tomatoes from last summer and I'm, I think tonight's gonna be the night that I, I finally make sauce out of those because I'm just missing gardening right now. So thank you for letting me indulge if you made it this far. Uh, hope everyone has a great day and I'll see you next time.